problem. Karthus doesn't have the freedom to venture across the river or anything of that nature. It's deaf. Love tapping. Mystic a little bit. You've seen MF and her dominance in the Monster Lane, especially when it gets to one on one. We saw Dev do that in just the last game against the Jinx. This yeah. time against Ezreal. Uh, once the supports come in, it gets a bit better, but you can see that even so, just because of the way the level 1 wins and the way that the lane wins afterwards, uh, MF has got a nice little lead here as. Wow, that's a lot of damage that comes down. So we get too close to the sun there. And a little surprising that Fly didn't actually keep pushing on. Even though Zoe, uh, even though Zoe has heal, you have Requiem on Karthus, but uh, maybe he doesn't have the mana to cast Requiem. XP point, Fly is actually ahead of Toby. I think that's because the lane is pushing into him right now, so he yeah. will be able to catch up. I, I suppose that Dev must have thought that Mystic is... Mystic's... Hard thing to say for some reason. His, uh, his hard game zip was down, but it was up, so everything got just avoided <laughs> there. Kind of. And Spirit, starting the Rip Herald right now, Doron missing the ultimate. Not even trying to do anything there. Looks like he was just trying to clear the wave if possible. And he had the option to freeze top lane, he didn't elect to do it. Really surprising. You can see Spirit taking a lot of damage here. Has this. You know what? Have this fight available. Good kiting. It's one of Carpus's archers. Now he's gonna have the, Yeah. <laughs> Not the enhanced recall now. Will he just do the. Well, okay, he's gonna do Gromp and Wolves and then recall. So. Nice tapping by him. Yeah. As uh, Murkred's first item for the Pantheon. Here against Zoe and Midway. It's not going to have the most insane damage. It's good to see the Carpus ahead of the mid laner once again when it does come to CS. Uh, happening in game one, it's happening again here. Nice little dodge, but the game is going to come out from Doran. Again, he did pick up Unsealed Spellbook, going up against a ranged champion, and you can do little things like that. Switch over to the Ignite just to put pressure on the top side. Yoshi gonna come up here, help out a bit with that as well. Have a nice little redemption from the mid lane. Always uh, a nice little buff. And Toby ends up picking up a GLP 800. As Spirit making his way to top along with Jelly. Sticking around. Checking the brush. He's not in that one. And three minutes now until Mountain Dragon ends up coming up as... Uh, not really sure what they're doing here. But it does look like Jelly might just... Oh, Pantheon. Has C available. Looks like they really just wanted to bring in Shelly here and give 120 gold to both Keen and Spirit. A couple carries. Ooh, nice one there, but he's going to take some aggro. The spike comes in. He doesn't have the mana. Can he actually get the kill? He's going to go down to the Carpus, but he will also on the back side. But first, what to Carpus? Always going to be a nice little thing yeah. for your team. Bit of some sloppy execution right there by Afrika, though, all things considered. As Dragonax now, they're in a really good spot. And because of Jelly's roam and just disappearing for as long as he did, Death and Kyria getting really far ahead of Mystic down here on the Cezreal. Yeah, really unfortunate side effect. I mean, you can get your Carpus ahead, but your lanes have to sustain somewhat. It is getting dumped right now, and Bot is heading that way at the same time. 
down over 30 CS rank in the bottom lane, even more in the mid lane. So those are, those are not impressive numbers right now for the CS for those two positions. We take a look at the replay here, and it's really important to kill the Orn before Olaf gets the kill on Solution, because otherwise Orn's triumph ends up going. Oh, well, actually, no, he has resolve secondary, doesn't he? Uh, most likely. I am actually blanking on his room. I apologize for that. But if Orn does have triumph, it's really important. Yeah, he casted it as soon as he possibly could. Mountain Dragon up in 50 seconds, obviously super big for Dragon Axe's team composition. Any little bit of resistance against the all-in-ness of the Pantheon and the Lucian, coupled with the Karthus. Ezreal picked up a pretty late call. He will eventually be able to complete that as Zoran makes his way into Sunfire Cape. Yeah, I like how Ezreal's just using that as kind of a catch-up mechanic, in a way, after being bullied so hard in this lane. Not much fun for him. Another redemption picked up here by Joby. And, okay. Why? Continuing to just fall down here in mid. He trying to do his best up there in top lane, but you can just see how obnoxiously tanky this Orn is, he really wants to get this last turret played. Not going to be able to do it with the way that Goron's playing. Like, uh, they were trying to set up a gank, but Toby was able to read it at the end. Goron also coming in, trying to deny this one. And even a redemption. As Hulling comes out here, not quite on the mark there. He will miss out on that last plate. As yet another dragon is going to go the way of Dragon X here. Very fitting in that sense. We oh. will have a ocean as it's spirit against Doran. Oh. Killing Smite and... Oh, the barrier. Last second. Looking for that He will pick it up at the end. Had Re uh, Requiem as well. Just coming off cooldown. Yeah. So... Yeah, doesn't want to use it. Yeah. By any means. And still, 1,000 gold lead for Dragon X, and Ocean Soul is coming up. So, that could definitely be one of their absolute certain ways to win this game against the Karthus team composition. But likewise, Afrika, they're not out of this game yet. There's zero magic resistance on the side of Dragon X, so Karthus will hurt. Now, I don't know what Spirit is thinking is different this game here as uh, does not look like he's building the Forbidden Book. Hey, uh, never say never. Maybe it will be the Re Remember that Toby had this exact items, these exact items, minus the Runic Echoes, of course, and then he ended up building a Merlin Alicon. Thought about the Void Staff. Someone reached out to us on Twitter and said while he was dead, he first built the Void Staff, and then Renek went back on it, and then built the Forbidden Book, which is just even more of an insult. Uh, but, I don't know, we'll see. Anything is possible here. Grim Peril is going to be picked up here by Dragon X. As Pantheon, and he's going end of night. First item, and uh, this is twice tonight that Toby is threatening to flame rise the opponent. Well, this Requiem is going to be denied entirely. And it's the bullet type denied as well by the Pantheon. Lots of ultimates are just being totally denied here as Zeph will be also denied a recall in uh, the mid lane here. So the push is coming down here. They don't have the best lead clear without the Zoe. Zoe comes back, helps clear that one out. Nice little maneuver and you can see what the target can do against the Redemption. I'm not sure exactly what the uh, the cast times are on both of those two. I think Requiem is three seconds. Now? Yeah. Yeah. Three seconds. Whereas Tark Ultimate, probably three seconds as well. I uh, will look that up for you. It's not like I'm a 
you know, pass the code content creator. Yeah. I mean, and so. You're not a human encyclopedia. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not Chris yeah. Papa Smithy Smith. Chris Papa Smithy, aka Human Encyclopedia. Is that, is that the AKA? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thought it was PS Papa Smithy. No, no. No? It's AC. AKA. After a two and a half second delay. Oh, okay. So you can actually, you have half a second to see the Requiem start to cast your Tark ultimate yeah. and deny it entirely. Wow. So if you get it on the whole team, which... Yeah, it, it just completely denies the card that's Requiem. Yeah, that's the way that it lines up. They push down mid lane right now. I love the angles that Joby finds here on red side. Always uses this thick triangle that is to the left side of this mid tier one on blue. I have a feeling that he is building Leandre's as the first item. And I, I, I really wonder what has changed between game one and now. Don't get too excited. <laughs> All right, I will. He, has, he hasn't built it yet. I think you have PT to cast tomorrow, so you gotta be careful with that. I'm just waiting for him to go back. We'll see exactly what he does. Do that. And fly. Find his best to farm up here in top lane. He's gonna poke a little bit, not the end of the hole. Yeah. Still a sad lane. As here we go, card this one back. Uh oh. No. <laughs> no. Val he, he didn't build it yet. He, he's sweating on it. Alright. Alright, I'll trust you. Oblivion or and he was out of the base for a long time and he got an extra kill. We can hope. So, you know. Would he not have what is it? Four four fifty, five fifty? To complete that for Alnomicon? We, we don't know. It's like the center of a tip spot. As Dragon X, they are pushing the mid-tier 2 turret now. They're going to make their way over to the Ocean Dragon. You see the teleport coming in from Keen. This is going to be the climactic battle. 